film my video from a different perspective and I am also using my new DSLR camera that I got for my birthday so I'm super excited that it's all like set up and working so yay and let me know what you think of everything um, you can like this video if you like like the new perspective or you can let me know what I should improve on by leaving a comment down below but anyways today I wanted to film a September hits and misses video Typically, I will film like monthly favorites, even though I haven't done one in a while. Um, but this month, I tried a couple of beauty products that I just didn't really care too much for, so I wanted to include that in this video, and that's why it's called Hits and Misses this month. So, anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so I'm going to go through my hits first, and the first few items I want to mention are from last month's Glossy Box. And this was their like birthday or anniversary glossy box, something like that. And I was super excited to receive this. And I'm so glad I purchased this because I love everything in it, especially these two items right here. Um, this first item is the Spa Ritual Nail Polish in Wilderness. And this nail polish reminds me a lot of the OPI's. Um, liquid sand nail polishes. It has that same texture, um, but I do feel like it's not as gritty, but maybe that's all in my head. And the shade of this is so gorgeous. It's like a pink and orange shimmer type nail polish, and I have it painted on my nails right now, and I just think it's the most perfect like summer to fall transition nail polish, just because in the summer I wore a lot of like neon nail polishes and um, I don't want to go dark just yet, just because it's still pretty warm out. Um, if I'm still sweating in my car, then yeah, it's still pretty warm. <laughs> but anyways, um, I thought this was a nicer, more subdued coral shade, and I just really love this nail polish, even though I still can't get over like the sandy texture of my nails. But the color is just amazing. And this next product here is by Cryolon, and they made this specifically for Glossy Box, and it is their highlighter in the shade Cashmere, and oh my goodness, it is just the most beautiful highlighter I've ever used, I think. I just, ugh, like I don't know why I had any doubts because Krylon just makes the best makeup products. It's pretty pricey, but the quality is just unmatched in my opinion, and I don't know, it always matches my skin tone really nicely, like even their nudes, uh, like nude lip products and stuff. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent, but this highlighter is amazing. The shimmer is super, super fine, and it doesn't make me look greasy, and it like sits on my skin really nicely, and I don't know. It just is the most beautiful highlighter. I absolutely love it. So my next few favorites of this month is from Grays.com, and I love these little things. They're just like little snacks individually packaged, and they always give you four different um, types of snacks every month, which is nice, and it's only $6 a month, and I really love having these for class because then I can just like stick it in my bag and go. And the packaging is recyclable, which I appreciate. And this month I got the Yakisoba, the Banana Caramel Dippers, and that one's whole grain, the Chili Honey Almonds, and the Beach Bum um, Snack Mix, which is like a mixture of pineapple, coconut flakes, and chewy banana coins. But yeah, um, if you guys check out their website, you can see all the different types of snacks that they have, and they're always so delicious and nutritious, of course. And I've just been really loving Grace.com a lot, and I haven't opened any of this month's stuff just because I wanted to show you guys what everything looked like in the packaging. But yeah, if you guys are interested in signing up for Grace, I will have a promo code listed down below for a free first box, and you can cancel any time. The next item is by Million Dollar Tan, and it is the Cabana Tan Extreme Tanning Lotion. And I just wanted to mention this, even though I have a, like a full like review and demo filmed for it, and I will link it down below in the info box. But I wanted to mention it in the hits and misses, just because I'm still using it to, you know, prolong the summer tan, and it's still pretty warm out, even though it's like officially fall now. So yeah, this is the product that I'm using to get a nice glow and it's just so fabulous and I don't know what I ever did without it. Ooh, these next few items I'm super excited to talk about and they are the Maybelline Color Whispers. And when I first tried these, like maybe a year ago, maybe longer than that, um, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I really like it just because I was comparing it to the Revlon Lip Butters and the Revlon Lip, lip Butters are like super, um, pigmented and just very rich and thick and buttery. Um, so I was used to that texture and when I tried these it just felt really like 
light and sheer and I don't know like the texture I just didn't really like so I was like, eh, I don't really like it. But over the summer, I revisited um, these products, and the two shades I already had were Pin Up Peach and Pink Possibilities. And when I had tried them, I was like, oh, like this is actually kind of perfect for summer because in the summer, you don't want to wear like heavy, heavy makeup. And because of the gel consistency that this product has, it seemed really like lightweight and fresh. And I just really liked um, the texture of it over the summertime. So, yeah, I just really liked um, the two shades that I already had, and then I also picked up Coral Ambition over the summer, and that was a great idea just because it looks great with a summer tan, so I felt like, yay, I'm so smart or something for doing that. But anyways, um, I also picked up Cherry on Top just because it's getting to be fall, and I wanted, wanted something a little deeper, a little more intense, and this is definitely that. Um, the color's definitely a lot richer, so I'm glad I picked this up. But yeah, so if you guys haven't tried the Maybelline Color Whispers, you should give it a go, especially since it's still hot out, because maybe um, you'll be like me and actually <laughs> like these now. So this next mention is more of a shout out, and it's for the band Search Parties. They are a local band here in St. Louis, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about them just because I went to see a band, and they were actually the opener for that band, and I ended up liking them more than the band that was being featured, go figure. Um, but anyways, I just thought that they were super dynamic. The guy that's the lead singer, he has like a really nice tone to his voice and um, there's like a violinist in the band, there's a guy that plays like a piano and the trumpet or trombone or something. I think trumpet, <laughs> um, don't remember. But anyways, it, they're just like a really dynamic group of people and they're doing really great things with their music. So I just wanted to give them a little shout out and I'll have their stuff linked down below if you want to check out their music. The next couple of items are the scarves that I bought from Forever 21 and I just thought they were super fall appropriate. And I originally had wanted to get um, a new like flannel shirt. I already have like a red and navy plaid flannel shirt but I wanted like a buffalo check one or one that had uh, navy and the bottle green color together but when I saw these scarves at Forever 21 this was like eight dollars this was like six dollars so I was like first of all that would be way cheaper than buying a shirt <laughs> and I just thought it was more versatile too um, I love pairing this scarf with like an a navy outfit or especially like a camel outfit this looks so great against like a camel toned outfit and this scarf I wear a lot of black in the fall and winter for whatever reason I have no idea why that even came to be but that's just how it is and this I think will be like a nice pop of color a nice contrast against the black and buffalo check is so fall so anyways I'm really excited for fall and for these scarves and I think um, this was a great alternative to buying like an actual shirt. And last but not least, I wanted to include all of my birthday presents in my hits list just because I loved everything that I received. I'm like such a practical person and I'll be able to get use out of everything that I got. So thank you guys again so much. And if you guys are interested in seeing what I got for my birthday, I have a video filmed for that and I will link it down below in the info box. All right, so on to the misses portion of the video and it's only a couple things and the th item that I just really disliked this month was the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lip Color in, what is the shade, It Girl? And I just thought the color was great when I first applied it, but literally after like 10 minutes, it just sucked in every way. Like the texture was awful, the color started looking like flaky, um, I don't know, just everything about it was terrible and it was kind of sticky and I don't know, I just was expecting way more. Like when they say suede, I think buttery or soft, you know, and it's none of those things. So I just thought this product was really misleading and I regret purchasing it. <laughs> and a couple of other products that I regret buying are these lip color things from L'Oreal. I don't remember what it's called. I also had a pink one, um, but I lost it already, but I'm not too sad about it. Um, so the shades I have here are Lilac Ever After and Eternally Nude. And I think the color um, develops really nicely on your lips, and I think the stain lasts quite a long time, but I hate the texture. Like, it's super sticky and doesn't feel nice on my lips, and I would never want to kiss someone with this on. So, yeah. I wish I could say I like these products because I like the packaging, I like the gold, but I don't. 
Alright, so that completes my first ever hits and misses video. I hope it was somewhat informative and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you guys like this perspective or if you would like to see a different perspective. Um, yeah, just leave a comment. And if you guys don't already follow me on Twitter, I am at GenCU. And if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, I am at Now and Jen. And I guess I will just catch you guys next Sunday. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!